Good afternoon. With less than one month until the start of school, pediatricians want parents to make sure their kids head back to school with all essential checkups and physicals taken care of. Now, the question is, is there any change in that approach in the era of the pandemic? Alex Love joins us now in studio with answers from pediatrics. Alex? Well, when you think about it, Natalie, this time around, we are going into the school year with every grade level having access to vaccines, treatment plans, and more knowledge on the virus. But returning to the classroom environment after a few months break can catch some kids' immune systems off guard, according to pediatricians. While respiratory viruses can get worse by the fall, doctors are hoping the new strains of COVID will, beco will become like other diseases we know that show fewer symptoms in children, while those who do have, who do have them can stay home. Dr. Edward Lewis, a Rochester-based pediatrician, has been encouraging parents of all his patients to have their children up to date on their COVID vaccines and booster shots before going back, then be prepared to get a second booster being approved for those who are 12 and up. Students should also should also not let up on their on routinely washing their hands and using hand sanitizer throughout the day because after two years of masking up and spacing apart, other diseases can come back stronger. Annual physical exams and, and visits to the, your pediatrician will help keep a, a handle on, on your child's health and development. Staying current with all the recommended vaccines is important. Good hand washing and just good um, sanitary types of conditions that you're going to see in school. I think the teachers are still going to be pretty on top of things. I can't emphasize the importance of routine vaccinations too. Now tonight at 5 and 6 p.m. we'll hear from local parents about how they're, ju how they're juggling the start of the school year by keeping their kids up to date on being healthy. Natalie? Alex, thanks very much. If you don't have a family pediatrician that you see regularly, you can contact your county health department for discounted or free clinical checkups. They may provide local pharmacies. Also may be able to offer essential shots at little to no cost.